Howdy do, howdy, holy crap, I'm still here, man. Well, this is technically my first beer, man, but wow. <laughs> uh, holy crap. So let's try glass number two of this big ass. <laughs> Hoppin' Frog Boars the Crusher Oatmeal Imperial Stout! 99999.4% 60 count them 6 zero IBUs! Says right on the bottle here, uh, Gold Medal Winner Imperial Stout 2008 2011 at the GABF! How about freaking that? That means it must be damn good, right, Top? Yeah, probably so! <laughs> If you believe such things, yes, it's, it's, wow. Holy crap, man. <laughs> this is glass number two, man. It's gonna put my winky in the mud, man. I can feel it. Uh, anyways, bring it back, man. Bring it back. Come on, man. You can do it. Oh, wow. This is brutal. Um, <laughs> I read the description in the first video, so there's no need to go through all that again, but... Uh, did a video, I uh, had a slight chill, probably about 42-ish, no, I've, I've sat a while, just a little while, man, a little warm up to probably about 50-ish, because I wanted to get a little warm to see if other flavors would come out. I did remark in the first video, having a rare, a rare, a rare, a rare, having a rare, <laughs> Had a, a rare, uh, serious, lucid moment here. I did remark in the first video that, um, that, 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 I did, that it was, uh, uh, had a lot of characteristics uh, of a Belgian quad. I was getting a lot of fruit. It was almost, it felt like a combination of an imperial stout and, and a Belgian quad. It really did, man. So I wondered, as, as, as it warmed, if more of those typical uh, uh, Russian Imperial Stout notes would come out. You know, more bigger coffee, more bigger chocolate. And the answer to that is yes. Uh, now that I have let it warm up again uh, a bit. <laughs> Fuck, I'm having problems talking tonight. Uh, maybe a spear, man. Uh, <laughs> Whew. Uh, so, anyways, I'm digressing. Uh, so, let's talk about the beer. Focus, dude. Focus. Um, I am getting some larger roasted coffee notes. I'm getting some dark chocolate notes. However, uh, especially on the aroma, I am getting these just uh, these uh, huge, huge fruit i mean uh, again I, i'm getting the notes of a belgian quad i'm getting huge fig i'm getting huge date uh it's stealing a description from my friend uh, <laughs> uh, uh stewart here the the <laughs> The ginger beer, man. Uh, yeah, uh, sour cherries. I'm also detecting some some like sour cherry type notes. It is very interesting beer. It is very likable. Uh, there is a reason why I kind of kind of break it a little bit from a uh, a lot of beer guys. Um, m most will not get a beer like this chilled. I do, and, and I do it for a reason because. <sighs> I know, and I'm not going to argue the fact that these beers are great warmed up a bit, and as they warm, they do encompass many flavors. Um, my argument to, to the other side of that is I also detect other flavors cold that aren't that do not show themselves when the beer warms up. So that's why I like to start with a slight chill. I mean, I'm not talking about American macro cold, but I'm talking about a slight chill. And, and and I am seeing this evolve. It's going to continue to evolve as it warms up even more. I mean, it's a big ass freaking bottle. I'm not going to drink it over 30 minutes. Uh, I'm probably <laughs> I'll be lucky to get it down in an hour, to be honest with you. But having I had a, a glass that took me about 10 minutes to drink. Uh, uh, one of these about up to here it took me about 10 minutes to drink because I was in the course of a video. I waited about 15 minutes. Well, I poured the glass and and then waited about 50 before I started this video. So here we are now. So that kind of gives you the you know the, the time period time frame that we're talking about.
Oh, the aromas in this are absolutely gorgeous, though. I mean, without going into any more beer geek, beer geek speak than I already have, I just want to talk about how good the beer is, how, how it makes you feel. Uh, the flavors and aromas you get are all your own, because we all get different things from these beers. And I personally think that a lot of beer reviewers pop descriptions out of their ass just to sound cool. <laughs> you know? And some of them even string adjectives together that don't even make any sense, but... You know, there you go. Oh. I can't deny how good this beer is. Is it one of my top Imperial Stouts? I don't know, man. I've had some mighty fucking... Oops. See, it's a second glass. You see <laughs> see what's happening, man? See, in the other video I could say that was my first beer, but I don't know if I can technically say this is my first beer. It's technically my first beer, but, but now it's starting to affect my head, man. Now I'm, now I'm going to start doing it. I may even start taking my clothes off, putting a lampshade on my head. We don't know what's going to happen from here, man. <laughs> Just get through the beer, man. <laughs> Holy crap, I'm losing it. Oh, wow, I can feel the buzz catching me as I'm speaking. Uh, you know what I mean? I mean, I didn't feel it at all when I first started, and all of a sudden it's just creeping up on me. I mean, I feel it right behind me. I got you, man. I got you now, you buzzed. Holy crap. Oh, this is a big beer. Um... How does it stack up against the big ones? Well, that's going to be up to you. Um, I, I do. My, my scale is simple. It always has been simple. It always will be simple. I don't give you a number, letter, grade. I, I would either say buy it again or not. For, you, for me, yeah, if I come across this again, I will buy it again. It's that good. It's that good for me to want to buy it again. So if you haven't tried it, I definitely recommend you buy it for the first time if you're a fan of Imperial Stout. If you're not a fan of Imperial Stout, this one might not be for you. But if you like big ass in your face flavor, man, holy crap, man. Oh. Whew, it's like a... Oh, man. Whew. Sometimes these beers do one of two things. <laughs> it either makes it so nothing's going to work tonight at all if you're following my drift. Or or sometimes sometimes beers like this, Imperial Stout specifically, will act like Viagra to this old man. <laughs> I ain't kidding you. Sometimes I think, it's, holy crap. <laughs> then I'll have to talk my wife into something she might not be ready for. <laughs> Dear, please, but I got this and it won't go anywhere. It's the beer, man. Anyways, whew, the beer Viagra me, man. I might have to do a video later to let you know how it turned out. Because I don't know which way this one's going to go yet. It could go either way at this point. Feeling pretty damn good about myself at the moment, though. Holy crap, I think I can do it, man. I'm ready. Anyways, hey, so, holy crap. <laughs> Some bitch. Hopping frog. Woo! Boris the Crusher. Oatmeal oh, Imperial Stout. 9.4%. 60 IBUs. Woo! How many people are going to unsubscribe me after this video? Tom, you were offensive, man. You were. I was here. Uh, the politically correct police are going to get you, Tom. They're going to get you, man, because you were offensive to everybody.